Good morning. Happy Thursday. Sorry, I'm running a few minutes late. My husband forgot to tell me that our um, new tree person was supposed to come this morning and um, take a look at our tree in our front yard and fix it. So I had to run down and do that and that put me a few minutes behind schedule. So here we are, weekly carries. Okay, so our weekly front carry today is short and front wrap cross carry. Um, this is gonna use, I think it's a base minus two, base minus three. This is somewhere between a base minus two and a base minus three for me. Um, and this is a great carry for um, smaller babies that like to be, or babies that like to be arms in. Um, you can do it arms out, but that um, chest belt across the front isn't quite as helpful or lean proof when um, you have an arms out oh, baby. Why are you beeping? Sorry, my computer's beeping. Okay. Um, this is also nice because it's a single layer carry, um, so it's good in the summer or in places where it's very hot and humid. Um, okay, so we're gonna start with a very short tail over the shoulder. And then begin by making a pass just like a front wrap cross carry. So making sure the wrap's not twisted. We're gonna bring the wrap down across the front. And then up over your back to make that horizontal pass in the front. And so now we have a short tail on this side and a much longer tail on this side. In fact, I'm gonna make this tail even shorter because I don't wanna run out of length. You really only need enough tail on your short side to reach where you're tying um, your first little knotless kind of half knot thing to make that um, head support. So you don't need much tail on this side at all. Okay, then we need to pre-tie and size our pocket. So the key to any sort of um, carry that has any sort of pre-tying is to make sure that this pocket or whatever your initial pocket is, is as close to the size of your wrappy as possible before you insert them. So you have to do the minimum of fiddling and tightening and you have a happy, completely wrapped baby as quickly as possible. Um, the more slack and nonsense you have to deal with while you're tightening, the longer it takes, the more frustrated your wrappy gets and the easier it is to not completely tighten it in a way that will make it um, comfortable and supportive for both of you. So if you're using a newborn, um, if your wrap is a newborn or you're using a newborn size demo doll, you want to place your bottom rail um, right about at your belly button or maybe even a little higher depending on the length of your torso. So basically when you pre-tie a carry, you wanna tie the carry so baby is in the position where you hold them on your chest. So I'm gonna use a newborn size doll for this one. So baby's bum, if I'm pre-tying them, is gonna be right here. So that's where I'm gonna place my bottom rail, right there, which is a couple inches above my um, belly button. And then you don't want your top rail to be higher than your armpits. So when you hold the baby on your chest, make sure that where the baby's head is or armpit level, where, whether your baby's gonna be arms in or arms out, is not above the line across your chest where your armpits make. Because if you have to curve the top rail up from your armpits, there's nothing holding it up there and it'll just fall down um, and there's nothing holding it up and it'll create a mile of top rail slack. So you want a t straight line going just below your armpits. So position your bottom rail and then as you're holding your bottom rail, pull it just tight enough 
that you can get baby's legs in and then leave a little bit of extra slack in the top rail from there. Not much. The pocket is never as big as you think it needs to be to hold your child. With a toddler, you're going to take that bottom rail and place it down like at the top of your pants um, or even just below depending on how tall your toddler is. You don't want them up in your face so you place the bottom rail where their bum is going to land when you're holding them in front of you. All right, then we can insert our baby. So we're gonna reach through the pocket that we just made and guide baby's feet through. And then pull the top rail up to the appropriate place based on their developmental markers. So for a newborn, you want the top rail all the way up to the base of their ears for an older baby that can be arms out, the top rail needs to at least go up to the base of their um, armpits to be lean proof. So we've brought our top rail up. Now I'm going to take the bottom rail and I'm going to use the bottom rail to lift baby's knees and tuck them into that seated position. It's hard to see because this baby doesn't really have knees but you can lift and push the bottom rail into a straight line from knee to knee. You don't want to just shove the fabric up there because that's not making a secure seat. You're positioning baby and then tightening the fabric around them to support them into the correct position. So lift their knees while you lift and tuck their pelvis up and push the bottom rail in a straight line from knee to knee. So lift and tuck at the same time. And then we're going to tighten around the baby. So I'm going to start with my short tail and pull the top rail out and to the side behind my shoulder here. If I pull down, all I'm moving is the slack that's across my back here. I'm not moving this over here, which is where I really need to tighten. So out to the side and then pass it to myself with the hand that's supporting baby. And then reach behind to strand by strand tighten the rest of the slack that's underneath this arm while passing it to myself. And you can kind of push with your side to help push the slack around. And now you can see it's nice and tight all the way through, whoops, except right there. So I missed a spot here under the top rail. There we go. That's better. Okay, then I'm gonna hold this right here with this hand while supporting baby and I'm gonna tighten the other side, same way. Pulling out into the side. If you pull up, you're just lifting the entire carry up. So again, I'm reaching behind my shoulder here to pull so I can move this slack around my back. The wrap never wants to move around more than one corner at a time. So you have a corner created by your shoulder and you have a corner created by your rib cage here. So you have to reach behind the first corner to move the slack around the second corner. Okay. So you can see it's nice and tightened all the way through the width on both sides. Then if you don't have a kid that likes to lean, you can do a quick V pull before you finish the carry. Again, lifting back behind my shoulders here. So then what I'm gonna do is place one single bunched pass that goes over both of baby's legs here this baby doesn't have a rear end, so that makes it a little bit harder to demonstrate. There we go. Hopefully that'll stay. I may have to tuck it under baby's legs just to show you how to make the chest belt. But when you're doing this carry with an actual baby, you're going to place it underneath baby's bum and over their legs on both sides. So if I lift, okay, it may work. We'll try it. 
So then you have two tails on this side right here. And what you're going to essentially do is create a Balearia chest belt like you would with a back carry, but you're going to go across baby's back instead of across your chest. So to show it, I'm actually going to tuck this right here and then I'll move it just because baby's legs will hold it down, whereas their lack of bum will not. So to create this faux Balearia chest belt, you're going to need to create two knotless tucks. So you're going to take the bottom tail and bring it over and through to make the knotless tuck, the first knotless tuck, which is a half knot. Then you use the same tail that you just used and go across baby's back and go over and under to make a second knotless tuck. If you don't do it that way, you're not gonna end up with a secure knot here and this tail will slide straight back. So again, if you want that knotless tuck to work to make this little faux chest belt thing here, you have to go over and then under, over and then under to make the wrap create two different U-turns so both of these tails are secured and at least in a secure knotless finish so they're not going to slide anywhere. So this is what the carry actually looks like. I put that pass in the correct place because this baby doesn't have a bum or a diaper to hold it there. So we have the single horizontal pass inside. You've got two passes across your back which you can spread wider to distribute the weight. Then you've got your single bunched pass that comes around underneath baby to pin the seat down. And then you've created a knotless kind of Bellaria chest belt across the front um, to give baby some extra head support and to figure out what to do with this extra long tail. All right, if you are catching this late or if you're watching it as a replay, please feel free to go ahead and put questions down in the comments and I or one of the other geeks will be happy to answer those questions. Um, I'll come back and answer any questions I see after um, I record the weekly back carry video. So I will stop this one and start a new one and I'll see you in just a minute.